For this video we're going to focus on node red and one of the common utilized nodes which is the inject node. So you can see over here all my nodes and it's right at the top and you can see it's under a subcategory called common. So we're just going to have a look at this, this node and you can inject various things into the nodes. We'll start off with the timestamp. So this is a common command which it gets uh, your your time off your device that you're installed on and in this case um, I'm on an edge device which is a Raspberry Pi Zero. We have some features down here which we're gonna we're gonna look at in a minute but let's start off with injecting a timestamp manually but we're also going to give that a topic test and then we're going to use this debug and the debugs a really good way of you know, proving you know the nodes are working. I always like to look at the complete message object rather than just the payload, and then link that across. And then in Node Red up here in the top right hand corner, we have to deploy. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at the debug window. And every time now, because I've just set it to do a, a manual inject, I'm going to click here, and I will get a message where the topic is test. And the payload is the time, so this is the time past, I think, January the 1st, 1970. So this is a, a, a common way of transmitting the time to reduce your memory size rather than sending it as a text or a string. As you can see, very easy. And the next thing we're going to have a look at is how we can automate that. If I come back to the node, I can see here I can just have it inject once after startup. Now, if I do that, I'm going to clear this window in anticipation for what's going to happen, and then I'm going to deploy. So there you go, it's injected it once on startup. The next option is, if I, I can have it to inject once after startup, or I can do it on intervals, and I can do it on intervals between times, and I can do it on a time but we're just going to focus here on interval and we'll do every second done we'll clear this window again and then we'll deploy and we can see here now we are getting the um, message payload which is my time every second let's have a look at some of the other things that we we can transmit so we can just transmit a string and if i deploy this Clear all. We should see now my mate, my payload is hello and my topic is still test. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the other things that we can transmit. We can transmit a number, a Boolean expression, so true or false, um, a JSON expression, um, a Java expression. But as you can see, there's multiple things here that we, we can transmit. The ones that I would probably use the, the most um, are really you know, your, your timestamp or you, you might just want it to start a flow so you can actually do this so it will, it will still activate the node every second but it won't be pushing any information out of the node that can be messing up the rest of your program uh, another nice feature that I like so if you can see now we're blank here so let's put the message payload to equal and we're going to use a global variable um, and it's coming from memory only if I want to see my global context data I can click here and you can see context data click a refresh and, and this is my value we can put in here density I can see it's coming from memory only so it's got memory only I'm going to add a message topic and then I'm going to call this density. If I deploy that and go back to my debug window, I'm just going to stop it because it's busy. I can see here that um, my density is moving all of the time, and um, there's my there's my topic. It's a really important node to kickstart the rest of your program. And it's used quite a lot. It's very useful for injecting random data. So if I go to my inject node, and rather than now um, input in my global context variable, I'm going to 
select my Java expression and then I'm going to use the following Java expression. So I'm going to randomize a value every second, you can see down here, every second around 1000. Okay? Um, so a very simple expression just to, to push some data into your flow so you can test the, the rest of your flow. So if I deploy that now, clear, and then come to uh, my debug, you will see here that my value is randomly changing every second. So there you have it, a quick look at the inject node. You're probably going to be using this quite a bit, but this is uh, a simple way to get used to it. Put the debug on the end and start practicing with the data that you're going to be pushing out of the inject node. So for now, I hope that was useful. Uh, thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon.